Hello you guys, my name is Leonie and today I'm talking to Francesco who's studying at the IU, the International University of Applied Sciences, about his study experience here. So let's go! Hello Francesco, so nice to meet you. Um, first of all, please just introduce yourself. I'm Francesco, I'm uh, Francesco Palmieri, I'm 26 years old and uh, I come from Italy, from Florence and uh, I currently live in Frankfurt where I'm working and um, of course studying in my free time. Okay, um, and what are you studying at the IU? Uh, master in Data Science. Ah, okay. Uh, and are you you working full time, or what? It's uh, what did uh, what kind of time model did you choose? Yeah, I, I chose part time because uh, my work uh, arrangement is part time too. So I do half day studying and half day working. What's your profession? What are you doing? I work as a financial analyst in the European Central Bank. Yeah, t I totally understand. And how is it going? Like, how is the? How do you com combine this uh, this job of yours uh, with your study? So far, um, it's it's challenging because uh, yeah. I, I just joined. Uh, I, ju I just joined my team, so I mean, it's four or five months and uh, the onboarding is going very it's very busy so i don't always have time to study i mean as i was planning but i guess in the in the future after the onboarding uh, it's set and uh, after everything gets clear on my task my responsibilities uh, i think i'll have uh, way more time i hope so at least <laughs> How do you structure your, your study program or your study life uh, when you have such a busy day at work? Yeah, I whenever I feel, I mean, I, I try to put myself that I, I finish at a certain hour. I should uh, work only in the mornings, but I always finish around four or five. So after oh, I wow. finish to work, I, I just maybe take one half an hour break and then uh, I start studying. You know. What do you like most about your study program so far? Can you tell us? It's just that uh, it's very flexible and uh, yeah. I, I think uh, that's the nicest thing is the fact that uh, you can arrange your time however you like and you prefer. However you, I mean, if you decide to to in, um, I mean, on board on a program on, and you decide to study, it's uh, you, 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 you decide to to make, I mean, to be accountable for the next couple of years and uh, you need to find the time. But um, that's, I mean, flexibility is, uh, it's a very good, um, how to say, good point. Yeah, I can imagine, definitely. And um, how is your experience at the IU so far? For example, the online campus, do you use this or the teaching atmosphere? Do you have like social interactions with other students? Just tell me a little bit about it. Yeah, I think, uh, the, I mean, at the beginning, to be honest, it was a little bit difficult to understand uh, how it, it was uh, set up everything. But uh, slowly it got uh, a little bit better. I, I start getting involved a little bit more on the on the things uh, and uh, I start, I mean, just studying uh, a little bit by myself uh, using the textbooks uh, and mm -hmm. uh, online exercises. So, I mean, so far, I would say it's so far so good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Maybe we just go with the flow sometimes. <laughs> Um, and uh, do you have do you have any like advice for current or future students um, after studying at the IU now? I think uh, the, the the biggest advice that I could give to anyone is just that they, when you're on board on something, you just need to be very. I mean, you need to be you need to understand that you know, you're got, you need to be committed to something. Otherwise, don't yeah, do it. yeah. Yeah, I think that's the most important thing. If you are committed, you you will uh, you will see. I mean, it's gonna be tough, but uh, you will find space and time and uh, the strength to 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 study, to work, and to combine all the things that happen in your life. If you mm -hmm. don't, if you don't, if you don't start very committed, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Understandable. So that, but that's, I mean, I already did uh, another master before joining the IU, mm -hmm. uh, working and studying, and that was only the only thing that kept me going, that I was committed yeah. to finish it. Otherwise, uh, no way you are going to finish it. Can you compare these two studies you did? Like the IU with the studying you did before? Yeah, I think, uh, I think yeah, because I was studying in a UK university. Mm -hmm. And uh, the UK's way of studying and system, it's 
a little bit different from uh, I think the German and the Italian one from mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I I started after my bachelor and um, that was in my bachelor and, and in IU I think it's more uh, focused on really real learning a lot of studying I mean re- reading books studying them and then exercising I think the UK university was a little bit more uh, project sent centric so you would work a lot of on project with your peers and uh, write a lot of papers and uh, I mean I like that one as well I think uh, I, I think I would like a combination of uh, UK and uh, mm. Italian and uh, uh, approach to to the university which other universities did you um, did you consider besides the IU when you were um, looking for universities. So I think I, I now it's not I don't really remember all the ones that I consider. It's just that I just to have a, a generic idea is that was I was I mean I was gonna move to, to Germany so I decided okay let's see if there is something that I could maybe something hybrid I could sometime mm-hmm. go uh, but I really didn't find much in Germany and uh, I I found uh, directly the IU, but and then to be honest, my my biggest comparison was always with boot camps. That ah, okay. uh, yeah. Um, I mean, they give you in I mean in a, a little bit less time in a way. I mean, in a little bit more pragmatic way, they teach you a little bit some data science stuff. And uh, but uh, I I mean I thought that. Uh, the fact that uh, you would get uh, like a recognized degree was, uh, I mean, even if I, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent agree on the fact that only with a degree something the, the knowledge and the capabilities of a person are mm. recognized. I mean, I think that it's companies should use an approach based. Uh, rather than a, a title based selection but though uh, i mean you always need to as well uh, adapt to what is required in the market so i thought and, and i thought that would be a, a good asset as well for for my career to have something more recognized and uh, something that was coming from uh, a recognized institution and then i i, I thought that uh, I, I liked how this, the program was structured, so I think uh, that was the what drove my decision to IU. Ah, okay. And and during the process of choosing the perfect uni for you, um, how important was the reputation of the uni for you? I think it was quite important because, yeah. um, uh, I, I mean, of course, I, I was going to invest some, some of my money, some of my savings, and I didn't mm. want and my time that's the most important thing though uh i didn't want to choose something that uh, nobody knew or mostly that doesn't i mean didn't have something i mean a background i mean if you teach for many years to many me uh, many thousands of students uh, and you keep on going and you are so innovative that you already switched f- uh, many of your programs fully online i thought mm. that i mean that would uh, for me was a very big plus because it was a kind of ancient university in German, but as well very innovative and uh, that was already looking forward, adapting already to the to war, where we are going in the in the future. So I, I, I thought that that would be a very good combination. Okay, well, very, very interesting. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, I think that's it from my side. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, just click on our success stories on our website or um, just contact us for more information. We will be happy to hear from you and see you soon. Bye bye.